and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia and I'm usually making PDF patterns, sewing tutorials. You can get these patterns on my website. They're beginner friendly. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am working with Babylon leather again. Today I am making a leather bag from scratch with my own two hands using the Babylon leather DIY kits. So I chose this wonderful little tote. It's called the Abbey Lock Bag and they sent it to me. So you don't have to have any materials or tools of your own because it all comes with the kit. So let's get our Abbey Lock Bag in green, a beautiful emerald green, size large. I think there's a size smaller and a size larger. So let's get this started. So I have my headphones for some music, podcasts, audiobook and I'm getting my first two pieces because the tutorial told me to and I've got my thread and my two needles we've got the hardware the little loops and then we have these two pieces and the hardware is going to go on these pieces the thread holes are gonna line up and then it's gonna go over these thread holes which match it and that's where we're gonna sew it in. So it says to do the thread two times the length of this area. So I already cut my thread. So I got this, this, it's two times the length. And that's gonna be for this one sewing area. And the cool thing about sewing um, leather is that your piece of thread gets a needle on both ends. So you have to, thread the needle and then you put the tip of the needle through the thread so that it stays on the needle. I think that this is such a genius trick. And now it's time to sew. Um, on the back side, I'm going through the first hole right there. So I'm just gonna put one of my needles through. And on the right side, I'm going to put it through the same holes on this. See how it goes through like that? Got the first one in. Now I'll just leave it like that for now. And then we're gonna put the second needle through the next hole. So that one right there, put it through all the layers. And you're gonna kind of have to look and see at first because we're getting it all lined up. Okay, now once they're both through like that, you're gonna pull it through. Pull through both, make sure that they are the same length from each other. And then you are going to put the needle from the first hole into the second hole from this side. And you can move the thread out of the way so that you don't snag the needle on the thread. I'm gonna go through all layers. Yeah, I got it. I'm just gonna tighten that thread. And then the bottom needle, I'm gonna go up through the next hole. This is the last hole on the top. And I'm just gonna carry it through like that. And I got that. So now what do we do? We take the other needle and we put it through the hole from the top. And don't snag, like pull this out of the way if you need to. So that's the second one. Before I pull it all the way through, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next hole from the bottom, because that's what I have to do anyway. So I'm gonna go through this hole and go all the way through all the thicknesses through the hole here and then I'm gonna pull it and yeah and that's what you keep doing so this top needle goes through this one now that it's kind of more secure and in place I'm just pulling this thread because it's kind of staying in place and then I'm going in the second hole And then 
before I go all the way through, I'm going to go from the bottom to the next hole. Go up. Okay, so just keep doing that until you get to the last hole. Okay, we are getting close to the end. This is the second last hole. Well, this is a last hole that doesn't have any thread through it. But we are going to go through the first hole again and go up through it. Okay, and then we're gonna put the second needle in that hole from the top. Oh, sorry. See, my hands are too slippery for this. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna keep going the same way I came over these two stitches. So I'm gonna go in from the bottom. And then in from the top, over these original stitches. And then I want the top one just in the back now. So they're going to all be placed in the back. And then typically what they do is they cut these two millimeters and then put some glue on it. But I like actually tying it. Once. I can always add glue later if I really want to. And I think they use E6000 glue just to like totally stabilize. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get these out, you just pull the little tail and then it will allow you to get the threads off the needle. Okay, so now I have these two done. They are beautiful. And now we're on to the next step. I'm doing the little arm handle straps and I have to enclose these in it. I'm gonna use these clips, they really come in handy at this point. Okay, and then I have to start these stitches. Get it through the first hole and the second hole and pull it all the way through. Really going far on this one. The first needle is gonna go through the second hole this is easier to sew than the other one because it's just two layers. This is gonna be fun. Up from the bottom, in the next hole, and from the top with the first needle. Before we go through, I'm just gonna go from the bottom again. Yeah, this one's, this is gonna be so easy. It's just really good to work on this on a flat surface like if you're gonna like watch TV or something make sure that you have a table in front of you because that's when if you don't that's when it can get like tangled up and stuff okay I am done both straps and I had to cut off the extra ends and now I have to sew these two these little pieces on each end Yay, first one done. I did like a weird crisscross thing cause that's what it looked like and there weren't instructions for this particular one, so. Yeah. Okay, these are done. So it's time to sew them to the larger body of the tote. This, like this. And I sew it with this cover over top and then it looks super professional. Okay, starting at the two top holes. Go through that. And then I have to put that through the two top holes of this. Oh. 
くに OK、so I'm gonna go down in the next hole and that's where I add this onto it like that but this has to be up so through like that Okay, the first one is done. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, and then the back, I stitch again over the original stitches on the top and then tied it off. It looks so beautiful. So I have three more to do. Uh, they're done and I'm super excited and super happy. So now it's time to put them together at the bottom. And I'm learning a new stitch, which is the cross stitch. And it's actually going together like this. Like it's not going right side together or wrong side together. It's going flat side together. So this is interesting. Gotta sew that strong. Okay, so we'll keep that together. And then we're gonna go this needle across to this hole. and then out through the hole beside it on the opposite side. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. And then I'm putting the other needle from the start through the last hole, the hole that the other needle came through. And that needle is going to come in from the bottom to the other side. Wait, am I doing this right? Yes. Yes, so I took it out the, the hole that's right beside it. Okay, a nice little cross stitch. Look at that. How utterly beautiful. Gotta get this tight. Ooh, I love this new technique. Okay, and let me show you what the back looks like because it does not look like the front. So there's the front and this is the back. It's just straight across. And this is, there's two threads in each of these. Once you actually do it, you'll totally get what I'm talking about. So it has been a couple of months, I am embarrassed to say, but we are going to finish this bag, if not today, hopefully tomorrow, but very soon. I have wanted this bag so many times, I've been like, I need a tote, so it's time to get this done. Um, we left off with this back or bottom seam, so I really love this stitch, this cross stitch and I'm excited to finish it. And yeah, there's quite a bit to do, but we're gonna get it done. And we're gonna enjoy the beautiful blue sky, sun, crickets, and my cat who will make an occasional appearance here. So let's get started, Pavo.
Okay, it's done. I finished it off with a straight stitch on the top as she mentioned. And then on the back, I'm just gonna tie it like I've been doing. We're gonna add these. I have to start sewing just this round part area. I have to start on the last straight stitch of, of these holes, so. Hey, hey, don't get in my way. Okay, one, two, three, four. 54, yeah, 54 and 54, so I'm starting at the right part. Wow, that took me forever. Bubbly should sponsor me, like seriously. <laughs> I'm done the first one. It actually turned out quite perfectly. I was, I kept counting these holes because I couldn't figure out why one, like it didn't seem quite right, but you put one of the stitches through the center here where there's no hole and that's what made it work out. So both sides are done. Now we have to add this. And through these little holes, I have to screw the little, what do you call them, like the hardware that, these, so this little thing along the bottom and it screws into this. So we're gonna put obviously this part on the bottom and the screw through the inside. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Okay, but next, I think we're sewing the sides together. So I need to look at the instructions for how to start it. My back was suffering and I just need like a table to work on this, you know? So right now I'm going to add this to the side here. There's these holes here. So they get pinched and um, we're gonna get those together. Okay, so five times the length of this, three, four, Five. Pinch it together and get it through like this. And the next one that goes through also goes through this. Okay, I did it. It wasn't as hard as I thought. So got it in between there. And I just have to finish this off by bringing the thread to the buckle side and tying them off, or rather gluing them, but I'd rather not glue them. Okay, then we have to sew up the other side. Oh, I'm sewing this wrong. I knew something was off. Okay. <laughs> Take this out. Okay, we're on track, guys. We're on track. This is the part I love when I get really fast and I just feel like a pro. 
Okay everyone, it's been a day or two, but I'm ready to finish this bag. I've got to sew up this side and then it goes across here and I'm gonna be adding this in along the top in one fell swoop. The thread is, okay, check this. Very long, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna sew up these sides and get to there. Okay, I've reached the point where I have to add this in. Basically, you have to sew six holes one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can attach this. I think after I finish this, I'm gonna go for a walk and then finish the rest after. Okay, I am on my last set of stitches. I did the side and I also went for a walk and now I'm going to finish the top zipper side and I'll literally be done. I can't believe it. It actually came together quicker than I thought and I'm gonna get Last bunch of stitches. Okay, back stitching now. And out through here. Underneath. Okay, that side's done. Pull it tight. Now this side. Here to the back. Oh my goodness. It's time to tie this like the other one, and this is literally the last thing I have to do. This is the last snip after the last stitch. This is already pre made, so I just snap it on when I want to have the long version. Wow, this is a beautiful bag. And I made it and you can too. <laughs>